What would happen if we all developed the practice of noticing the people who we are with and seeing, him, seeing them in the highest regard and paying attention to that unique pattern of spiritual generation that was possible with that person. I would suggest that if you even began to think about that, it would take you out of some pretty uncreative patterns of thought that you might be in about other people. And given that the nature of the one who dwells is God, is the creator, that reality is coming in with activating creative power from the highest part of us to the lowest part of us. It's activating consciousness. The activation of love happens through the heart, through the instrument of the heart. And of course, it affects our whole being. When we're activated by the fire that burns, we become the fire that burns. It happens through the heart. And when the light that glows is present, it's happening through the instrument of the mind. And when it does, it affects everything. We're being activated. We've become a church for the one who dwells. And the one who dwells isn't just coming and sitting in the Barco lounger in the, in the residence. No, the one who dwells is coming in with activating creative power. What would fulfillment look like? Maybe it's the idea of enlightenment. I'll be enlightened. What is that? And what's the concept of it? Could it really be fulfilled in your life? If your idea of what it means to be fulfilled is unrealistic, you can have all kinds of feeling about it. But no matter how passionate you are about it, if your belief about what it means to be fulfilled is erroneous, it doesn't go any place. It can't be fulfilled. And we can have an imagination of what it might be to touch God. An imagination of what enlightenment might be. But as long as it's just an imagination, it's not being fulfilled. How is it fulfilled? We need a, a realistic understanding of what fulfillment looks like in a human life, what spiritual fulfillment looks like. That fulfillment comes, as we, first of all, as we individually are a church for the one who dwells. That means that at every level of our being, the one who dwells is coming in. There is nothing in your life or mine that we do that at least, that well, that couldn't be about this. There's nothing that we do. There's no activity. There's no range of creativity from the most mundane to the most seemingly sophisticated or glorious. There's nothing that we could do where this is not relevant. Everything could be this. This could be fulfilled in everything that you're doing. It be, could be consummated in everything you do.